hey what's going on guys um today i have a hit film pro tutorial for you guys so yesterday i downloaded this program and i was able to create this animation in hit film pro so i basically use this effect called neon path you can find it under generate and it's right here neon path so i just played around with this and i was able to create this animation so this uh, effect is only exclusive to the hit film pro version you won't be able to find it in any of the packs that they provide it's just exclusive to this version only i am uh, using the demo version as i said earlier you can see the buy option right here so the limitation of this version is that you won't be able to export your animation uh, so that's the only limitation uh, other than that this program is free you can use it for unlimited time there is no trial period or anything like that all right so um it's going to create a file a go to file and create a new composition so i'm going to select the template 1080p at 60 frames per second you are free to choose your own template and then click on start compositing and the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer then we'll create a new plane layer we will call this stroke and we're going to select the set the color to black and click on ok and after that i'm going to go to i'm going to select the rectangular mask tool we will basically be creating a shape a rectangle shape before that in the effects tab search for 1080p title safe guide effect and apply it onto your stroke layer and now we'll select the rectangular mask tool make sure the stroke layer is also highlighted or selected just place your mask cursor in the center and hold the alt key on your keyboard and then just create a oops then create a shape rectangular shape like that all right so there is our shape and i'm just going to uncheck this box this mask box i'm just going to uncheck that and in the effects tab search for neon path it is on generate neon path and apply it on this stroke layer and let's just um, go to the controls tab and go to neon path we can delete the title save guide we don't need that anymore so in the neon path um i need to change a few settings here so let's go to inner glow and set that to zero and go to outer glow set that to zero as well which it already is i'm going to go over and we'll set the feather to zero and then we'll go to path and we have the start width we'll change that to 20 and the end width will be 20 as well all right and then uh we just have to keyframe the extension and the evolution let's make sure our animation is just three seconds long and click on ok now uh, we will animate the extension first so what i'm going to do is i'll just create a keyframe extension keyframe and then move to like one second forward well on the first keyframe we'll set the extension to zero and then at uh, one second we'll set it to a hundred like that so we have this basic animation i'm going to select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph so if you hold the shift key this is only exclusive again this you can do this only in the pro version not in the express version um, so if you hold the shift key and then click on this handle you will be only be able to change this handle uh, to the left or to the right you don't have any chance to go up or down so that means uh, you will be perfectly be able to you know move these handles uh, in this straight line so there is no chance of any error with this again we'll create a curve like this and we have this sort of animation and then we will um we will animate the evolution so as you can see right here our animation starts at this point right here now what if we change the evolution we will you can see that it changes uh, the point where this animation starts to you know it starts to appear we'll change that point so let's move our move to the first frame of our video let's just set this to 30 and let's move forward and just change it to something like 92 let's see how that looks 
doesn't okay we just have to forgot to change the create a keyframe so evolution create a keyframe we'll just change that to guess negative 50 and we have this sort of animation i'm going to set this to add to one second select these two keyframes go to manual bezier value graph and just basically create a curve like this and there we go we have our stroke animation so this is like the trim path effect in after effects what i'm going to do is create a new text layer set the width to 1920 and height to 1080 and click on ok select the text tool just type in your text so just type in inspiring Control a to select your text and the text tab is right here in the text tab set the font to gotham you are free to use any other font i'm going to increase the font size align it in the center i will just increase the spacing a bit so we have this text just put it in the middle like that now you can use the title save guide effect to find the uh, middle point but i'm just going to eyeball this for now and then we will animate our text as well so go to transform Move your player head to one second duration create a position keyframe move back to your first frame and we'll just set this to like 700 uh, we have this animation okay so i'm going to create uh select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier then go into value graph and just sort of uh, create a curve like this make sure you hold the shift key on your keyboard while you do that Okay, that is looking fine now we just have to create a mask layer so click on new layer then click on plane we'll call this mask and we'll call, change the color and click on okay i'm gonna put this right on this edge of this uh, shape and then we can we'll just hide this and then go to effects and search for set matte effect and apply it onto your text layer the control tab and we have the set math here we had to change the source layer to mask and then blend to subtract right so um this is our animation uh, let's apply a background so if i can just import an image and use it as a background i can see uh even though i put it at the bottom there is nothing there so you can try to change the stroke I right click and click on blend and set to add or uh, you can set this to normal and go inside the stroke layer go inside neon path and at the bottom you will have the you will have the blend right here so it's set to screen you can just change that to none and that will also do the trick and there you go there you have your animation so uh, yeah that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you did enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned something new if you did, please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.